بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Just a very short message uh, that I want to share with you today. I've been wanting to uh, share this message with brothers and sisters for a while. In light of what's been happening recently, and not just in one particular area, but, you know, across the Muslim world and the Islamic ummah, in different fields and different aspects of Islamic uh, work that is taking place and I apologize if some of this comes across as a bit frank and but it's a reality and we really need to think about ways of trying to uh, correct ourselves and improve ourselves and uh, try to deal with these issues. Um, recently there's been so much bitna that we've seen amongst Muslims. People of the same background sometimes. I mean we've always had these different groups, polemical debates and arguments and debates, where people have transgressed as well, we've had that as well. But recently, sadly, it's come to where people are, have started literally physically fighting one another. I mean, just a day or two ago, I saw scenes of great devastation and sadness where two fractions and groups of the same tabligh jama'ah Fraternity. There are people who are both associated with the Bleak Jama'a, but they have a difference of opinion about something, and people can live with difference of opinion, but sadly these people, they literally fought one another, and there were violent clashes, scores of people, according to what I heard and saw and understood, hundreds of people, some severely injured, some have also passed away, Subhanallah, this was like a tabligi ijtima' gathering, and this is what's happening. You see, sometimes what happens, and this is the message that I want us to take with us and maybe spread, is that what has happened and what happens to many Muslims is that in Islam we have a means to an objective. And the means to an objective, the objective is reaching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The objective is to please Allah, to obey Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The maqsad, the objective, the aim, the goal is to act upon deen or to do some work of deen. Like for example, one of the objectives of deen is to preach tabligh, okay? Which is conveying the message. Conveying the message, which is an obligation. كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنَهَوْنَ عَلِ الْمُنْكَرِ So it's an obligation, it's a duty of a Muslim that we preach to other Muslims and non-Muslims. We give them the message of Islam uh, in a beautiful way. This is what we call tabligh. Tabligh basically only means preaching, spreading the message. يَا أَيُّهُ الرَّسُولُ بَلِّغْ O Messenger, بَلِّغْ You know, preach the message, convey the message. Conveying the message, that's tabligh. So that's an objective. But there's an objective and then we have means of trying to reach that objective. Means. So means, like for example, there's a way of facilitating that objective. Now what we have this tabligh jama'a, you know, the groups that go khuruj in the path of Allah, etc. That's just a means. That's just like a means of getting that objective. If I give you some more other examples. We have tazkiyah. Tazkiyah is an objective. Tazkiyah is cleaning the soul. We are all born with blameworthy character traits like jealousy, hatred, enmity. It is an obligation on every Muslim to work on his or her soul and rectify his inner self, replace these blameworthy character traits with praiseworthy character traits. So remove jealousy, remove hatred, remove arrogance, Riyah, ostentation, replace them with humility, tawadu, love of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sincerity. This is an obligation. Okay? It's an obligation on every Muslim. One of the reasons why Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came was, وَيُزَكِّهِمْ Now that's an objective. The means to that is maybe some people like to take a course and learn about it. Some people give bay'ah to a shaykh and get part of a spiritual group, like what we call a Sufi you know, group or order or a tariq. But that's not the objective. The objective is tazkiyah, this is just a means. Let me give you another example. Eating halal food is an objective, right? Eating halal, tayyib food is an objective. It's, it's 
fard on every Muslim to eat halal meat and avoid haram. But in order to reach that objective, there are means. Means such as, for example, there is a halal certifying body, halal certifying organization that you go to a restaurant and you see that this particular organization has facilitated and checked and investigated and given the stamp and uh, uh, given the stamp and approval that this meat is halal so that's a means of eating halal now the objective is what is important and that's what we need in our life acting upon sharia reaching allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam these means are just means but sadly what's happened in this day and age brothers and sisters is that we have become more attached to the means than the deen itself. We have become more attached to the groups, to the organizations or people who were the means of us coming to the deen than the deen itself. Tabliq is what is an objective, not Tabliq Jama'ah groups. Of course, people were preaching before this Tabliq Jama'ah, which is, of course, alhamdulillah, great effort, and I'm not trying to undermine this effort, an amazing effort that spread deen to thousands, if not millions of people in the world. But do you think there was no Tabliq Jama'ah, no Tabliq work taking place before Shaykh Mawlana Muhammad Ilyas, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, 100 years ago, he started this particular form of work? Of course, over a thousand years, Tabliq was taking place. Likewise, all the other Tasawwuf, Tazkiyah, Tabliq, even Madrasa, Look, another example is learning ilm. That's an obligation. Talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim. These institutions, madrasa, darul ulum, they are just the means of ilm. Now, we get more attached to the madrasa rather than the objective. More attached to the means than the objective. I'm not saying means are not important. Value the means. Appreciate the means. But attach, we need to seriously attach ourselves more with the objectives, more with Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, more with the deen. Because the problem is when there's something goes wrong with the deen and if we are more attached, sorry, if something goes wrong with the means and we are more attached to the, to the means, then we are in chaos and anarchy. You know, there are recently many examples where somebody uh, got onto the deen through a spiritual order, a Sufi sheikh. Now their morning is their sheikh, their evening is their sheikh, their life, their eating, their drinking, their sleeping, their deen is the sheikh. The sheikh which is guiding, alhamdulillah, great, no problem. Someone you need to teach you, guide you. Somebody became a means of you coming to the deen. But this person got so attached to his sheikh and his spiritual group and order that nothing else is important in life except this. And this spiritual order, this tariq, this sometimes it can become a cult, this sheikh became everything for him. He identifies deen with this sheikh. Now what happened was that some major thing went wrong with his tariq. Sometimes you could find out nobody is an innocent person, nobody is a nabi. Suddenly, this person found out that the person who was a means of him coming to the deen was actually not practicing deen himself. Whether it's true or not, Allah knows best. But he found this out. Something went corrupt and wrong with the means. Now this person was attached totally to the means. In other words, there's no deen except this. When this got deconstructed and there, there was problems and uh, you know there, something went wrong with this means that he thought was everything, what happened? He left Islam. Because he was more attached to the Shaykh and the Tariq and the Sufi order than Allah and his Messenger and the Deen himself. He actually left Islam. Somebody told me about this. That he left Islam because for him Islam was just this. Likewise, this Tabliq Jama'ah as well. You can do Tabliq without having this... It's just an organization. There are, I tell some of the friends, go and do Tabliq. Preach. You don't have to be part of any organization. You can eat halal food without a halal organization body. You can be involved in tabligh and you cannot be connected. You do, do not have to be part of any tabligh jama'ah. You can do your own tabligh. No problem whatsoever. You can do it in the way, but just do it in an Islamic way and take some mashwara and guidance from people. No problem. The means come and go. 
madrasas can come and go. The Bligi Jama'a movements can come and go. Sufi sheikhs and spiritual orders can come and go. Your objective is Tazkiya, self-rectification of the soul, or Tabligh, or Ilm. Your objective is Ta'aleem, Tazkiya, and Tabligh, and Allah and His Messenger. So therefore, in summary, my message is that let us be more connected. Let's appreciate the means. Let's respect the means. Let's not undervalue the means. Means are important. Without means, we can't really learn anything or attain anything. We need means. But my request and my sincere, like, kind of brotherly advice is that attach yourself more with the objective. Don't consider the means to be the deen or everything in deen. Consider your... Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the deen to be the main part in your life attach yourself more with Allah and His Messenger attach yourself with the objectives of deen so that if something goes wrong with the means then no problem that was just a means and this is why you know when people think this means is everything then we see scenes like what happened yesterday I think in Bangladesh people fighting because they thought that the other party is like committing kufr or something you know they're fighting and hitting and killing one another it's just, you know, you could be a great Muslim and never go in the path, you never do this particular form of tabliq. You can do a different form of tabliq. You can seek ilm without having to go in a madrasa. You can study in a different way. You can have tazkiyah and you can uh, have rectification of your soul without being part of a spiritual Sufi order. It's possible. These are just means for people who need it. So inshallah, may Allah you know, grant us all the ability to understand and really these fitnas that are taking place in the world right now, whether you know in spiritual orders, whether in tabligh, whether in tasawwuf, whether you know different places, may Allah protect and preserve us and save us from this and bring about good in, in this life and in the next life as well. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.